anything. And in the conversation, we can make up our mind whether we want to agree with you or take you apart. We have that choice. We can sit in a Masonic Lodge, a Christian church, a Muslim mosque. We can sit anywhere we want, and you can start walking and talking, and we can handle it. And, and, and we can stay polite. Or we can start asking them questions that you can't answer. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what New Apple is about. Sound. Right. Nothing else. All we wanted the facts. We've accepted the faith. We had faith in the law. We had faith in Christ. We had faith in, we had all the faiths that we get. We had bags of faith. <laughs> we had our foot on the radio. You know, we had our knees and forehead on the ground. I mean, we reached out for God, out for God, every which way. As a, as a people from a, a color, we reached for God in everything from, I seen brothers as highly Christians with little ball and knots. <laughs> we tried everything. Everything. Now we're saying, we want to ask questions. We want nothing but facts. That's all. Right. If you can't give us the facts, then leave me alone. That's all I want is facts. And why is that bothering people? Because this society is based on lies. Mm -hmm. Because everything they're teaching is lies. When we start questioning them lies, you start fall, they start falling apart. They see our shining. You know that means they won't be able to rule you. They won't be able to rule you. And you saw Johnny Cochran, right? Mm -hmm. See, Johnny Cochran was the... Ba was the the, what do you call it? The basketball star in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. See, what, they, were just, they were just complimenting us for our scholastics, mm -hmm. how physical we are. Yeah, they're good at basketball, mm -hmm. they're good at boxing, but they're not good at golf. And Tiger Woods said, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> they're not good at hockey. They got three brothers in hockey now. You know, what are you doing with niggas? Some beer. Some ice. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give an African a spare on ice. <laughs> And that was all good because all that was physical. But when Johnny Cochran got in the ring and he started fighting with the mind, and they saw that game because the courthouse ain't nothing but another court where games are played. You know what I'm saying? And they saw how good we play with the mind game. Then they started getting scared. They saw their time the rule was over. You know why their time the rule was over? Because they abused it. There's never been a people on the planet that didn't get their chance. Sure. My thing is, is if we were in charge in the first place, mm -hmm. then how the heck could they get in charge? I'll tell you why. Compassion. I'm going to tell you how it works. I can be on the subway, and an old white lady would come on, step on my foot, and say, excuse me, as long as she says excuse me before I, I click into a nigger mode. <laughs> No, this is true. As long as she says, excuse me, before I click in the nigga mode, everything is cool. But if you get on a white train station and step to it, you step on one of their foot, and you say, excuse me, you'll still be called a nigga. There's a difference in our compassion level. It doesn't mean they're bad. It means we got to teach them. They rule so long that they lost compassion. We've been in foot school so long that we lived off compassion alone. Mm -hmm. If I'm trying to say, so our weakness is we're always in somebody else's house cleaning up, and they ain't cleaning up our own house. We're always ready to take someone somewhere. You will stop and help a person that you don't know on the road. You will still do that. If you saw an old white woman fall, I don't care how black Muslim you are, Farrakhan instinctively, Farrakhan will stop and help them because that's the God, the good inside of him, and that God and that good has made us open our arms in this country. When we was here at All Max, we opened our arms and then came six tribes from Europe and just put us in servitude. Mm. And then went to Africa, we opened our arms, we did that, put us in servitude. Mm. If all and every time someone raises up amongst us, whether it's the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Noble Jali, Margaret Gavi, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, Mega Evers, whomever it is, their first thing is kill it. Don't let it read. Don't let their program work. And that's what's happening right here. You say you're a Christian. You say you believe in God. And then when we speak about the power of God, all of a sudden, you lose it. God is building this. All we are is his workers. Mm -hmm. that's right. mm -hmm. Why is that bothering you? Because your face is not on the wall. Look hard enough and your face is on the wall. You can't look past Malachi. That's your problem. You can't see me as your superior. That's your problem. I don't mind seeing you as a superior. If what you're doing is superior. I don't mind if you got the answers. I don't mind. I sit up and listen to you. If you got all, the, if I can ask you a question, you can answer. You the man. But if you're, if you're not, 
And you're not. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Because, because we are here to make a difference. When I start thinking hate, what do I become? When I start thinking racism, what do I become? You see? And that's what's bothering him. The fact that all races, all people are coming here. All, how many people you've met? How many people you've seen? How many people have you passed that you didn't stop and just go steal me? You obviously a Nuwapian. And I'm a Nuwapian. I love you. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't know who you are, where you from. My name is Derek. You know what I'm saying? What is your name? You know what I'm saying? I don't mean guys, just the girls either. <laughs> I mean everybody should be exchanging numbers and business cards and saying, when you, when you coming to Georgia? When are you moving down? Why? Because Monticello is already us. Sparta is already us. We gotta establish what we are. First of all, we are peaceful people. And if we wasn't peaceful people, Edenton would be in an uproar right now. Because you harassed us for a year, but we're not into that. And we're trying to tell the world, we're not into that. A lot of us were crazy. But right knowledge has sained us up. A lot of us were racist. Right knowledge didn't wipe that away. A lot of us were haters. We didn't know what was going on in the government. Now we know. We didn't know nothing about no voting and legislation. Now we know. And now we are forced to be reckoned with. But we're not becoming anti-American for you. We're not becoming anti-government for you. We're not burning any flags to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what's right by us and our children. And that's it. And if we all stay on that, and we stay on that one accord, ain't nothing they can do to break that. And keep your own faith. Your own faith with you. Facts is the reality. Your faith is every time a fact is confirmed, then you can have faith in it. Once it's confirmed, before it's confirmed, it's don't mess with it. And demand that right. Anybody, demand it. I want to know. If you can't tell me I'm not going to be arrogant or disrespectful, I'm just going to go about my business and say, there's other people on another level that'll listen to you. I mean, you'll always get somebody in your congregation. It just ain't going to be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's what right knowledge is about. So all you people got to realize that we are a force to be reckoned with. We're, from, we're all over the world now. We're the fastest growing organization. And we got to represent what? Dignity. Honesty. Sincerity. Respect. Self-respect. We got to definitely learn to respect our women. We got to care about what's being put in our children's head, educational wise. Definitely. We got to care about what's going on in our bodies. No drugs. No alcohol. No cigarettes. I'm not talking about a person who's on medication because they're ill. I'm talking about a person who gets on medication because they're ill. <laughs> <laughs> Two different kinds of medication. You know what I'm saying? We got to take those type of initiatives. We are, we are so big now. And we're growing so fast that we gotta let people let people know, yeah, I'm a Nawabi and I'm proud of Nawabi. And let people know what we're about because people are afraid of us because we're mysterious. Mm -hmm. we, they don't know what we're about. Just tell them what you're about. Yeah, they don't know. Tell them, listen, I don't burn flags. I don't curse presidents. You know, I ain't trying to overthrow no governance. All I wanna do is be left alone. I'll pay my tax. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll join the military and defend the country I live in. This is America. I tell you, go in there and tell me, I don't, should I go to America? Yeah, go in there service. And if they drop bombs, you think the bombs going to bomb around your, around your neighborhood? <laughs> if Sudan decides, Saddam Hussein decides to do something crazy, you think he's going to say, well, because the Nwapi is in Georgia, we'll make sure the bomb don't bomb. <laughs> you know, he don't care nothing about us. No. You bomb him, tell Brother. What's the difference between the moon and the sun and the woman and the man? Like I've heard the woman is the moon and the man is the sun. You know who said that? Men. Men teach that women are the moon and men are the sun. Because if you measure the diamond of the sun, the diamond of the moon, men are much bigger. And that's not real. Women were here first. Men came from women. And it's still coming from women. I don't care what your Bible, I don't care what your Quran tells you. Go to the hospital right now <laughs> and go in the maternal ward, and I want to see one man give birth to a child. Not, not that they're going to be doing that in test tubes soon, but they're not doing it. Women were here first. Women are the goddess. Men have dominated through brute force. That's strictly how we rule. And if you go to any household where there's a conflict, the man is raising his voice. 
I'm talking about what he's going to do if you don't listen to him. So we, we have not even to this date figured out how to deal with women. So when we get angry, we go into what we're going to do to you if you don't listen to me. We go right to caveman tactics. Even to this day, we don't know how to deal with women. Women are the goddesses. If you put them in the right position, they rule. People always talk about, you ever see Malachi, you ever see him, he's walking with a bunch of women, he's walking with his daughter, he's walking with his wife. I got women around me, you know why? Because I watched every other organization of black leaders, and they all had men around them, and they all failed. Okay. Okay. And I said, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try to surround myself with women and educate them and see what happens. And now we're the, we're the only organization that's surviving. There's no other organization out there. They're all the disappearing. Why? Because they didn't recognize the power of mother, the power of the female. Men, right now in your house, let her take over and things will change. Keep thinking you got it all figured out. <laughs> and you will keep on going around that vicious circle. Not that they, now, don't get your heads all puffed up women. There's some dumb women, too. <laughs> I mean, real dumb. I mean, some real dumb women. You know what I'm saying? But don't take long before you figure it out, because they're in the mirror most of the time. Worrying about what they look like and not where they're going. You worry about what you look like and not where you're going, you're going to bump into things. And life, and life is that thing that people keep bumping into. And they're confronted with life. They all make the same excuse. It's always someone else's fault. What happened to them? Why they on Dubad Street in the corner of got nothing? It's always easy to say, it's the white man's fault. That's why I ain't got this. It's this one's fault. That's why I ain't got that. Ain't nobody's fault but yours. You looking for a helping hand? Right at the end of your arm. You want to get everybody say, you want to get something done? Get up and get up, get up off your butt and get it done. Paint your own house. You follow? So women are the goddess. All that sun moon stuff is all Islamic jargon. The whole concept of a crescent and a star is jargon in so far as a star is bigger than the moon. So how could you get a star on this side of the crescent? So the illusion of Islam, and I was Muslim, the illusion of Islam is right in that symbol. If you look at a star and crescent, and you see that big crescent with a star in front of it, and stars cannot get on this side of the moon. They're too large, because a star is the sun. Men have to come to the reality that women are the goddesses. Always has been and always will be. And if we're the first group of people that acknowledge that, you're going to see a change. America ain't going to do it. America is ruled by a stellar goddess, but men rule it. See, what they've done is they've turned objects into females. Their boat is she. Their car is she. Their motorcycle is she. Their gun is she. But And what is their wife? B. <laughs> With the first thing that comes out their mouth, when they get married, they honor things over the goddess in their house. And again, I say, I don't mean all of them. There's dumb everywhere. <laughs> I'm saying, there's stupid everywhere. important. It's only important to black people who have an inferiority complex about the texture of their hair. And that's only because of Lady Clara and all of the other little tidbits that has been subliminally stamped into our minds to give our women an inferiority complex. Other than that, it's not really important what kind of hair you have, what length your hair is, what texture, what follicles your hair grow, because ain't no hair on your heart. <laughs> ain't no hair going on nobody's heart so they ain't got nothing to do with it it sounds good it appeals to people who are feel inferior it has a nice sound to it I'm saying, but when you deal with the number nine in right knowledge of ego you're going to what makes hair grow not the actual growth of the hair the whole job is to get from behind the nine ball that's why it says behind the nine ball you're living behind a hair thing and that's the main thing women are about. 
That's why our sisters here cut their hair. So the people here with straight hair, people here with wavy hair, people here with nappy hair, all wear their hair long. Because they've, they've stepped from behind the nine ball. They're no longer behind the hair thing. Right. They, you know, my hair got to be dangling and I got to do this. They got to go away from that. You know what I'm saying? Because it divides us. Right. So it's not, it's not as important as people would like to make it. Another question? Yeah. As far as um, Anu's father, what's his role? Anu's father. Go ahead. His responsibility. <laughs> when? When he was ruling? Before his, before his son took over? Sure. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At the time. Okay, when? When he was ruling? Before his son took over. Before his son was going, he was the most high. I get you like this here. You right now will be the most high. In your world. In your house. And whatever you do. When you, give, when you have a son, and you pass that on to your son, you step by and you become wisdom, and he becomes knowledge. He becomes the most high. You follow it? You got to learn, you got to pass it on to him. Now, what happens if you look over and your son is not qualified? You might look to your nephew. You might look to your brother's son to find out who's qualified to run the business. And that's how things happen. So I knew is a person. I knew is not a spirit. I knew no, it's a, okay, but a lot of people don't. And they want to they want they want to they want to take a new into a Christianity concept. And even the Christians are trying to say physical. They keep saying Jesus came. Anybody who does not believe the Lord Jesus Christ came in flesh is an antichrist. And then when you say, okay, we believe God's in flesh, they go, no. <laughs> Anybody who does not believe that Jesus came in the flesh is an antichrist. Okay, we believe we believe God comes in flesh. No. Is Jesus God? Yes. Jesus God, yes. God comes in flesh, yes. Okay, I believe God is in flesh. No. <laughs> then you know there's something wrong. There's, there's, that's a spell of some sort. There's something happening when that something that clear can't be seen as clear. Right, exactly. Got to be something wrong. You got to spend. So you got to spend time there, and you got to say, okay, was Jesus born of a woman? There you go. Yes. Did he have a heart? Did he have respiratory, circulatory? So did he eat? Did he digest food? Yes. So Jesus was a man at one time. Did he have the spirit of God moving through him? They say, yes. So he had God in him, yet he was still a man. Yes. Okay. Were you born a woman? Is there a spirit in you? According to the Bible, St. John chapter 1, the same spirit that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Right? So do you have the spirit of God in you? So there's no difference between you and Jesus. And if you say that, when you get to that point, they get mad. <laughs> That's right. As logical That's right. as that is, right. when you get right. to that point, everybody gets mad at you. And you go, it, it gets, you see what I'm trying to say? And so that means you have to take a little more time. When you get to that, when you make a statement and right now is that clear, and you see it didn't get through, then it's no longer just a simple conversation. That's when you step back and say, this is surgery. <laughs> this is not just a conversation no more. I gotta perform surgery here. I gotta go inside there and remove this, this whatever got that spell and then replace it. And that's that's so you gotta be careful. When you talk about I knew, you know, I knew means most the highest. And that would have to apply to two parts of his nature. The physical, insofar as he was the highest in rank. But the mental, insofar as he's the highest in quality or qualification. That's it. That's why they get the word supreme being. Mm -hmm. Supreme being, simply like Elijah Muhammad said, meant the supreme being, the wisest man. In his case, to him, it was Master Far Muhammad. And you can't deny that. We might want him because we was not a part of his specific sect and make ourselves feel good. But to him, when he met this man in Detroit, this was the supreme being to him. And he has a right to say that. If you take away that right, you take away your right to declare what you believe. That's right. That's right. All right. See? Yes. Um, you want a tape, uh, you want a tape even? I got a thousand tapes. <laughs> <laughs> you want a tape? It's not even fair. Like, you mentioned about um, Tip Almond being a uh, fucking son of father. I've been trying to find out who the parents were uh, Almond Ray and uh, Austin Ray. That's in the Black Book. The whole story. The Black Book is right over there. Little Titty Book. I'm, I'm, see, we just moved from. Overstand, not even, not understand. Overstand, in the WAPO, you all are being taken degree by degree to higher levels. All right? When you all stepped away from Islam, you all went back deep into Judaism. I had to walk you through the whole Torah again. Then from Judaism, you automatically get back to Babylon. 
so you automatically end up in Samaria. And then from Samaria now, this year, you're all transforming over to where? To Egypt, right? And so as, as much as you got informed in every other school that I walk you through, how much will you know by next year on Egypt? No. Huh? Just be patient. It's going to come to you, because I like it better when you read, and then you got good questions, as opposed to whose name is this. Name on me. If I said such and such and such and such, now tell me what they did, you'll be back to scratch again. You're going to say, well, tell me what they did. Then I got to tell you what they did. We can spend a whole day doing that. And if you get the doctrine in you, then when you come pop, you have real questions to ask me, because I'm not the person, I'm not a book. You can't me, oh, you don't ask me names. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm deep, much deeper than that. You asked me how their names, what their names meant, and why they got those names, and how they got that name. How did, how did, um, yeah, how did Jesus get named Jesus? What does it mean? Savior. Did he save the people, or did he get crucified? No. So why did he take his name away? <laughs> and wait a minute, I ain't finished. Who named him Savior? Angel Gabriel told his mother, right? So Angel Gabriel did not know that he wasn't going to really succeed in saving the people? You hear me? That's the kind of questions you ask pops. Right. <laughs> the word, when I said, what's his name? All, me, all y'all said Savior. That's the kind of question y'all ask each other. <laughs> you come ask me, well, how come if, his, if he didn't save anybody, he had the name Savior? You say, well, that's because they're all going to say, that's because there's three of them. <laughs> then you got to go, what do you mean? That's starts so now you're on my level. Uh -huh. <laughs> Could you elaborate on precept? On who? Precept, precept, concept. Okay, beautiful. Precept is to do it before. Concept is to go to go against. You only need one more. <laughs> Think about it. Inception. <laughs> yeah. What is the meaning of the name Sunenda? Sunenda. It means chosen one. It's the same word as Siddhartha, used for Buddha, Mutre, Mut, uh, Mutevara, used by the Tibetans. Sananda, and the same one used by the ancient Egyptians, Messiah, which became Messiah, and Mashiach in Hebrew and Arabic, Messiah. The Egyptians call it Messiah. Wow. Go ahead. Um, a new is a title, and a new yes. Is a title. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if a new is a title. Then would it be wrong to think that you would be able to rise up and take the a new ship? No, it wouldn't be wrong to do it. It would be how to do it. <laughs> because when something is the highest, you can't reach it. You follow? It's, in other words, if it's the highest and you could reach it, it never was the highest. Mm. So if you ever reached Anu, he wouldn't be Anu. Because you reached it. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, um, a Lelu. Um, he was the ruler of the four Okay, so then Anu took his rulership of the skies. Right. He was able to reach him. So he was, Alelu's name is forgotten, and Anu is the most high. Now, if you can reach him, then you would do that. How would you reach him? You could spend a lifetime figuring out how to reach the most high instead of just melting into the Most High and becoming one with it. Mm -hmm. And share it, why take mm -hmm. We are opening our hearts to the Most High, mm -hmm. thus we are sharing that, why should I want to take it when I can share it? Why should I want to be it when I could be it with you? <laughs> Wouldn't that be better? That's correct. So then, why would a new take it from a Layla? Because a Layla was from another race that uphold the laws of risk. Remember, risk opened their doors to other beings. It's the same way America opened their doors. And now let's say there's a ruling president. This president happens to be very good and very cooperative. But presidents that set out to just bomb and destroy people, and pay attention to what I'm saying, bomb and destroy people, you might not want them there. Right? So people start thinking about how to overthrow them. But the president is the most high. He's, he's untouchable here. If someone pulls him down like they did Kennedy, in the case of Johnson pulling Kennedy down, he took his throne. That's how it works. It's the same thing. People want to make it like religious when it's not. It's everyday living. You make your religion is something you are, not something you practice. You follow what I'm saying? 
Last night they showed a tape from um, Welcome to Tamaray, and there's a deity, a statue of a female deity with outstretched wings. I think it's a uh, Isis. They call it Isis. I was wondering, is there actually the deity, Ma'at, the deity that governs the law of truth? Is the statue up there Ma'at or is it Asset? That's my question. The sisters of it is interesting. The sisters of Isis or Asset declare that. Asset. I belong to the brothers of Hotep. They don't go down there our lodge and tell us, ask me, is that really Hotep? <laughs> so they, they, they don't dare. If you want to find out about Isis, you have to ask the sisters. They are, they have, they have their own order. I can't answer questions for their order. Oh. I can't I can't even go in their lodge. Okay, cool. <laughs> you like oh you like that huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You gotta read the black book. All these questions you're asking is in the black book about about a new being chosen from the all black. No, it doesn't mean it's like, like what you grow up to be. Right? That's what you've been chosen to be by the all. You know, that's why it says the all is. And the next level is to remove the definite article and say all is and forget the God. That happens from the inside out. If on, when you're on the outside looking in, you're saying the. If all when you're on the inside looking out, when you're part of what makes it happen is just all. When you're not sure about it, it's uh. <laughs> the all, the all, all, well, all is, yeah. Uh, but before I uh, started reading uh, the scrolls, I used to have dreams about being in the motherland and seeing the pyramids being built. Why, why were I having those dreams before I, I got the understanding that I learned from reading the scrolls? Now pay attention to this answer. Any man you meet that you walk up to and tells you why you're having dreams about what you're dreaming about, don't ever listen to them again. <laughs> because they're phony. The reason why you had dreams and what you felt was for you. If I would have walked in the dream with you, then you could have said, let me pop, let's discuss why this is happening here. Why am I seeing these permits? But if I'm not there, that is your message, that is your message from, the, from the most high to you. And any man who comes along and tries to interpret stuff like why you saw this and why you saw that. And every time somebody asked me, I said the same thing. That was for you. If they wanted me in on it, they would have had me there with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And in time, because you're here now, you found you found your way here. Now let the rest of it happen naturally. Don't wrestle with it. Well, they they contact you because they want it. Yes, young man. Yeah, I want to know about a magnetic therapy. Go ahead. Is it good for you? It depends. If you have pinched nerves, which they won't taste. Remember, this society, the Western world, has a tendency to reach over to other people's cultures, steal stuff, and then uh, sophisticate it. In other words, acupuncture and magnetic therapy is the exact same thing. Because the magnet is sending little needle points of energy into certain points. They don't want to accept that acupuncture works and that it's an oriental thing because they won't be able to keep the John Wayne image. So what they have done is they've, found, they've studied it and they started easing it in the country and then what they did is say, well, we can accomplish the same thing by taking little magnets, put them in reverse, and they'll send little charges, you follow? <laughs> but your body vibrates at a certain Ravens, you just can't go buy magnets and start putting on yourself. You have to know which which direction your your sympathetic nerve system works. You got to know how much current, otherwise it'll give you headaches. Yeah, because I you know I know a brother, a brother he's an Indian brother. And he's been um he, he deals with magnets for years. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm supposed to you know I'm supposed to hook you up with some magnets. So I'm not to know about before. Well, they know. can they, they they can work, but you got to make sure the person studies your body. Okay. And how, many, how much current is coming out of your body. Okay. Like curly in photography shows how, how much energy or electrical current is coming out of the body. Okay. Otherwise, they can just hook you up with magnets and it will detour a pain from one nerve mm. to another. Uh -huh. And for, for a short period of time, you'll feel great. Mm -hmm. And then later on, it's building up somewhere else. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like what they call, um, what is this when people pick you up and go, 
Yeah, they, they break, fix one thing and snap something else. You know? like, oh, my, my neck feel good. <laughs> yeah. Next, you know, every week you there getting something moved, getting it moved. <laughs> Just give me the money. The man with the nice hat. <laughs> Somebody's babies falling asleep down here. Women still rule. Haven't you been in the dark room? <laughs> still rule. Yeah, I don't know why we think we rule. There's not a man, let me tell you, brothers, there is not a man in, out here that pulled his woman. Uh, exactly. Really go back and think. You look exactly. across the room. You decided you're going to try to get a number or whatever, and she left her house for that purpose. <laughs> and when you walked up, if you asked for the number, she had a choice between saying yes or no. If she got it, she got to use a fish, it bit the, it bit the hook. If you don't get the number, so who really rules? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I can see a person here, but yet if they do come, you know, to contact and see the light of the team, display them, they, you know, they say, well, I, I knew this guy here, you know, all how they had to give her the, like, the, the time that they had dreams over and over, you know, about 10 years, even from the old school, you know, with the turban and everything, you know, the people who do ask and travel. And I know exactly what you saying. I want to know whether, you know, why? Yeah, because everybody everybody has a spiritual master, right? Is it what they refer to as an incarnated spirit, right? All you people here are all different walks of life, different minds. Some of y'all would not even have spoken to each other, passed each other on the street, but y'all have the same spiritual master. Because we're not concerned with your nose, we're concerned with the you, the essence, the essence of you, and that's what's reaching out to me. I've I talk to people of all races, all kinds of people. people I got. Brothers, you know, all the way from way up there to country western singers. You know what I'm saying? Reba McIntyre and them want to get into our books. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm, a, I'm just for I'm just I'm like a son, right? And I'm I've been with all of y'all before. I've been in your dreams. I've been in your life. I've walked up to you when you was a child. I've visited you in different places at different times. And all it is is like a harvest. A harvest. It's a harvest process. It's now coming. And people are coming all over the world to see that person. Oh, yeah, there's a movie called The Stand. Right? All right, I'm Abigail. And there's another group of people gathered in Las Vegas. And they're raging war, preparing to rage war against us. That means the battle of good, evil. And we won before. And we will win again, because good wins. You follow?